Bonjour, bonjour. I have been missing for a week. I took a break, but I'm back. Period. So, by the way, I'm not even introduced myself. Hi, if you're watching this video, welcome. I'm Amelis. I'm Amelas, and I do nursing videos, vlogs, and challenges. And you are watching a series called fourth year chronicles where i highlight my fourth year journey and this is currently week this is week 12 exam week so exams has, have begun for us but i'm scheduled for next week so this is the week before exam i'm on 7 east which is a female surgical ward on the evening shift so i'm in bed eating cocoa puffs I'm just waiting on one o'clock. Let me tell you about the ghetto shift that I just had. Mm -hmm. I feel look because they don't open. I get the dementia patients again. Is that dementia patient love me? Last time I get her, she kicked me on my head and she crowned me. This a week she did a runway. If it's tight, when I don't want to catch her. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Even shift, fair shift, the entire and even for shift, trust me. When I do nothing much, when I get to serve my when I get to know, when I come back, I'm going to stay at home and study, prepare for my exam. But guys, this is Monday. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I told you that the nap would work. I'm up, I feel refreshed, and I got news that some of my colleagues passed them exam when Mr. Pass mash up. So that kind of motivates me feel. I know I feel happy for them. Like it's not easy, like we have four months left in our school and it's so short but it's so long, and then the slightest thing can make you feel oh we know and that. So I'm happy for them. Um so I thought about it and I said, you know what? I'm going to start the lab values instead of it. Because it's too late now and then for me to start do the puzzle phase because I bulk study. As in, I study a lot of information once. And that's it. It works. Trust me, it works for me. Like a bulk study and I grasp the information so vivid, so much. Like after me study that, me watch video, me make up scenario, me do all that. All that comprises in bulk studying. And then, pretty much, when I look back, Penny, <laughs> it's so weird. But that's my mind. So, I'm going to look at the love values. I'm going to watch a video. Hold on. I said I'm going to start by watching um, a video first. It's the first time I'm doing this method by watching the video first. But I'm going to start with that because the day is already gone. And then after that, I'm going to compare this with some notes that I have from school. And then I'm going to, you know, make a chart, make some flashcards, and then see where I end up from there. So all in all, I am about 10% ready for exam. <laughs> I'm going to say that proudly. Like, I'm not ready, but, well, I'm not going to say 10%. In terms of the practical aspect, dressing, I'm fine. Care plan, I'm fine. 
ish um medication i'm fine ish i just need to know them so i think like if me for after do an exam tomorrow i think i'll be like 70 percent ready um hmm so i'm safe to say that today is tuesday so six days before exam so we're counting down six days before exam and today is going to be lab values i might do lab values again tomorrow with something else so lab values and maybe medication tomorrow and leave the bulk studying for another day i don't know but yeah that's tuesday it's not much going on i literally slept throughout the whole day as you know chronic laziness um but yeah um wish me luck uh wish me luck pray for me um i really do hope that this video will not be a flop i don't want today it to be like at the end of the vlog i tell you guys that i failed or get a low grade hmm. i'm thinking about putting up this video the day before exam and then do a whole exam vlog by itself that way i can put it out get the prayers coming up <laughs> i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know but all in all if i block the exam then i probably know if i pass or not by editing so who knows hmm. so see you guys tomorrow hi guys it's friday 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 and I'm heading to CSSD at Cranmer Regional Hospital to see if I can customize my dressing set for exam. I have them out of clear and put it on. So I'm on my way there. Alright, I'm back. You like the staff at CSSD is so nice. So I told them that I want no cotton in my set and three four sip. Can't go wrong with three four sip. Right? <laughs> so I'm gonna tell them that if I at least want tweezer. Um so now I'm walking now, go over the word. Then what if we could I get away with not signing in and just Get the updates that I need and then leave because I'm tired. I'm not feel good. Give me a drink vitamin water. Now I'm heading all the way around our one place. I'm not going to see how far I'm going to walk. Oh my god, the things you have to do for pass. Go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. They used to be like. It took me a walk a good 10 minutes. I'm not being extra. People can't steer. Like, so what if I want video myself? So what? I made it. I'm here. I am here. Um, I'm in the lunch room. So I'm gonna put some air plan and go out to see if we can get my treatment chart up here today or whatever it is so that it is still valid to be used. We 
morning guys and happy Sunday. It's Sunday. I don't know how much days I miss out, but it's Sunday. And it's the day before exam. <laughs> and literally, um, as you can tell by the vlog in all the study one, and I watched the lab value video. Did it stick now? But me write them down, you know, kind of stretch it as for me to do. Um, study some of the medications them as well. Mm, so I'm confident like in terms of educating the patient on the medication and the side effects. You can brush up on them, but no good. Um, the pathophase, I didn't do that as yet, so I'm going to do that tonight. But I don't, I, I don't know, I'm kind of confused because the patient then, number want a fracture them have and then do post, they have the um, do orif surgery. So studying the pathophase of fracture is not really studying because it's just a fracture, it's, you know, the bone break and orif is just them fixing it and... No, no, but Mr. Lagar read up. There are some things that they're gonna ask me in the oral report that my friends told me about, so definitely I have to study on that. Don't mind the hear people, me know me look rough. Me have an exam for come so me can just, you know. Alright, so me about to get up now. It's really early. First me wake up so early. And me go put my cousin for me uniform for wash, my apron for wash, my shoes for wash, everything me ever wash. Nervous, nervous. And I think the reason why I'm nervous is because me never, me not prepare myself properly. I'm confident in certain areas like my care plans, which is so like me feel so good for me cancer so because that has always been my problem in nursing school. Big up to Miss Van and big up to my friends, you know the few that stick around to help me. Um we just have prayers so and we get the patient when we want people. Like we just I'll I'll definitely make a push out uh, that is fine. Definitely. But I think this point in time we just tired and I'm enjoying and we just done. <laughs> Yeah, it can So, fingers crossed, I make it out. I'm not posting this a joke. I'm not going to post it, I'm not pass, but definitely I would still, I would still post it because people just, I don't know. <laughs> so, fingers crossed, you guys will see what happens tomorrow. Definitely, I'm not going to vlog during the whole process because my mom and heart have a belt on but I asked a colleague if she can do some little clips here and there you know it's gonna be chaos so no I'm not just a word awful it's gonna be a beautiful day we're gonna get the patients that we want it's gonna go smoothly and we're all gonna pass in Jesus name Amen. hi guys so updates me don't prepare everything because I'm looking the line Everything now it is study time. Let me kind of organize the studying. <laughs> so I have care plans that I've done before that I need to review and you know finalize. All of it. Then I have blank paper with the blank care plan paper where I'm going to after I finalize those are you know the most important ones. I'm gonna transfer it into this. There are also some incomplete ones. We'll probably just have the diagnosis. I'm gonna finish those, particularly the one that I think applies or can apply to majority of the patients that are on the surgical unit because that's where I'll be doing my exams. Then for the you know disease process and the pathophys, I have you know my disorder concept map. You guys know this already. Um, where you know you have the name of the condition, the pathophys, and it kind of give a little outline. So I have a couple of them right here. Um, then I have oh, over this section here is like my drug section. So I have my drug guide, and this is some pharmacology notes that from last from third year or second year from second year second year of pharmacology. I know, but I find this and it kind of does give like the drug class, everything that's in this as well. So, you know, can 
use both this is just some added information like i write a lot so like when we hear something tips tricks all in there these are goes on this paper so you can see there's a lot of a lot of things because i really like to write because when i write i get the grass information over here this is like for dressing so this is my dressing outline that they'll be using to mark us so i'll be using this to see you know and then here is my lab values as well as youtube and this little thing here is like a little i wrote down all the, the jobs that are on the word itself um so that i can study that so this should go over here so wish me luck all right so i think i'm gonna start with getting my care plans out the way So I'm gonna make a start with getting my care plans out of the way. So at least I have them there and put them down. Cool. Okay, update. I have managed to study, I managed to wash my clothes, and I've managed to be productive today. Still not where I want to be. Um, I finished studying like the part of this. Everything that has to do with the decided application has our patient that I think would be on the ward in case when I get the patient on my ward. Um, so I've basically prepared for the oral report part um nursing theories no nursing theories discharge planning i've done all of that and now i am studying medication and this is sarah nurse around here so big up she and then so i just have medications and then i have my lab values i i kind of know some of them now <laughs> but yeah and then after that i can just practice some dressing practice giving medication and then i go press Wash a plate, go my bed, say a prayer, go my bed, and just leave it to God. Leave it to God. Oh my gosh. I'm nervous because it's the first practical exam that I'm not so prepared for. Plus, I'm nervous because this is the last, like, it's the fourth year practical exam. Like, the last. Like, I'm literally four months away from finishing school, and this can determine if. You know if that's the case so just checking in with you guys still here <laughs> i don't want this vlog to end sad at all i don't <laughs> but anyways i'm going to do my medication write one more clip and then i'm gonna take a break watch something probably eat some more food if you don't may i get fat hmm? And then go press and then come back and study the rest. So yeah. Guys. 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 I passed. Yeah. I'm gonna get my graded. Ah, but I passed when I passed well. I'm gonna get marked down one. I'm gonna tell them about turn my drone. I'm probably all on panic back to me get my grade so I can share that with you now. Hopefully, I'm get it by tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm not used to this all in our time period. Now I'm going to get my grade at the same time. But the new presenter. Anyway. So, I'm in the supermarket. I'm about to treat myself.
hey guys so i am home i wanted to vlog as soon as i came home but i legit fell asleep me eat and just pass out literally i have two to classes in half hour so i'm gonna come on here quickly just to update you guys yes i passed my fourth year exam now this exam is just like third year exam where you get your patients you're expected to do three care plans on them uh, medication dressing uh, oral report right so my day started off real rough when i reached to the um to the ward my patient needed to be you know tidied so i had to be the patient get her address fix up you know so in the exam your patient a speak and span so me have to be this patient change sheet everything who child then <laughs> um there was some mix up at the cssd that's the place where dressing sets are autoclave and there wasn't any set for me and my friend no set no dressing sets yeah no set me stress out and me still look stressed out but no, just wait just wait um so um me end up get some little little set some smaller, smaller than the average set that would have been the ward. That's the only set that they have a spear. I'm just take it. I'm go. My patient now, um, in my initial assessment, she was in really bad pain because she has a fracture. By the way, I get a patient when they want pair. <laughs> she had she was having pain, but then she was due six o'clock meds, so I just give her the pain medication. Baby, me should do that. But I could have every single lady in the pain. Because if I didn't give her the medication, I could write my care plan on acute pain. And most people could have really said that acute pain is a really easy care plan. But you know what? I decided to be a good person, a good nurse. And I gave her the pain medication and just reassess her and see if I can find something else. So for her, definitely impaired physical mobility, impaired tissue. She has an ulcer also. And I did risk for falls because she's a seizure patient. Right. Risk for adult falls. So... Right, so I wrote my care plans because my that's the other issue, guys. The person that was supposed to mark my exam, she didn't know that she was supposed to come today. So my my clinical coordinator now I had to call her, tell her to tell her that the lady's not there, well, the other, and she called somebody else. And that lady came late about ten thirty thereabout. She came like I had ten o'clock meds and she came ten thirty. So you know, say meds delayed. So when she came, I had no time to waste. I had to go ahead and give my medication first. This this medication was really really cool. I think I managed it well. The only part was that you know I have to have a RN present, and the ward was short. There was only two nurses on the ward, and none of them not have the time to stand up and listen to me. Check document three, four, five, ten, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen times, right? But then. The nurse, what did I do the initial step? When me wash my hand and figure start the paper meds, now she have to leave. So I forget get one other nurse. And when the other nurse come, me have to start the process all over again. Who child? Me tell her say, my exam beat me bad. Then, um, the doctor never write the dressing order. Me see the doctor in the morning. Now, Mister Doctor, please write the dressing order in the docket because they always write dress as previously you know previous order mr doctor please when me look no just in order so me if you go up on the phone operator hello please transfer me to doctor so and so mr doctor remember so this is student nurse from so and so remember myself put the just in and she said oh my god i forgot my god you can ask another doctor if you do it please i'm asking the doctor and he was like okay sure exam in do it right um then me just volunteer for the dressing first because in you know, my mind I just want to get everything over and done with. Mind you, me not start right up my care plan, then pan the paper, me not start fill out no farm. No, me just have to fly out at me just have to fly everything. Everything <laughs> everything just a, a fly. So my document, cause she wants to see the documentation, you know, you have to write right patient, right joke, right this I'll then something there. One bag of writing. What the hell is this? And this that's the sakura. I call them sakura bump. Every time I eat sakura. Anyways, so. I prepare my trolley. 
wipe my trolley because me know say exam me really laugh a bugger hand towel a bugger hand towel normally we wear wipe trolley you now we just wipe and go chew but today me get full marks to <laughs> clean the trolley one wipe dash way one wipe dash way one wipe dash way that that are just top level then go down one wipe so it all in all about nine pieces of paper towel and paper towel this short penny ward Anyway, so so I prepare me stuff. Me do have fifty ml syringe that I got from that I got, and I got sterile cup because I wanted to pour my betadine into the sterile cup instead of using the big old bottle of betadine to throw in at the set. Cause you know, you can dash away. Cool, cool. So I set up my thing. I mean, I do my thing. The only when we reach now, patient everything, patient turn. I met me, you know. Me yeah, set up my things so when me about for what me set now mind you as i said it's a set that i'm not used to it's really really small everything in there compact right me what me this set and if you're the nursing you might know me about using the two inch border open it it's not I me mean, not have the double wrapping bunny you know anyways we're not going to that we do what me do when we open it me realize there one bag of gas one bag of cotton I said, what me I can do now because it is so small, me cannot, me can't use the outside, you know, have it double, me can't, me just could have flipped it. The story I continue the next day, me I get ready to go up a car now because me I go help out some colleagues, bring over them set for them. Um, so, continue the story, the well, they start, they can initially full up a gas, so what happened that, well, actually, they teach me one technique where I can use the syringe and the needle. Pull up the syringe so that I get the, the length itself. And then I take out all of the, all of the gas the mommy don't want. And I do what I do. Dressing was fine. Did a pretty good job. It was a small um, sacral wound to the leg. Yeah, was it what? It was a small ulcer to the leg. Right. Um, other than that, after that, we did oral report. We talked about my care plans and stuff like that. My care plans were good. Big up to Miss Van again, as I said. Um, what else? No, she just gave me critiques, told me where to brush up and for span. I told her that, and she said that I did a pretty good job. And she said that I put in effort in what I'm doing. So I like that. Um, so what's happening now for? Before here, we have a couple hours left, I think, or two weeks left. After that, we get a little break, and then when we come back, we have what we call consul, and this is where they're going to pair us with a nurse, and we'll basically go with the nurse on the nurse's shift. Um, I plan to know whoever I get. I hope it's a message nurse, and whoever I get, I'm just going to do all the dressing, everything in terms of skill, like, because we know what span going to be. It's going to be just like, for the practicum, so I'm gonna try to juggle like two or three patients and all that, and then span begins June. So I'm almost out here, so I'll leave out now, go over CSSD, collect the students' sets that are doing exams today, so that they're not have to left over there and go over there, right? So I have to help out my friend there because they help me out. So. Thank you. So, remember the long walk on me do? I'm at it again. Two of them. Good morning. Um, I'm in the process of doing my hair. But good morning. <laughs> um, I tried to hold on to the vlog for such a long time. Hey, my belly. Anyways, I got my grade yesterday, and I got a 95 percent. Yeah, I got a 95, and I said I wanted to share it with you guys. So I can, you know, conclude the vlog, you know, I am now about to just 
get myself refreshed i have two more weeks left on practicum because by the time you guys see this it's week it's like the ending of week 13 so we have two more weeks to go and i'll be doing leadership and management going forward so yeah we're winding down i know i've been missing for a while so i'm gonna take another break which means i'm not gonna vlog until the last week yeah because i have a lot of activities planned i want to go mystic mountain i want to go i just wanna i just wanna all right so thank you guys for watching thanks for staying too thanks for waiting on the vlog thanks for all the encouragement for everybody who reached out to me on instagram and asked me if me all right <laughs> i appreciate it i'm good i am just taking my time going through life taking a much needed rest and get it back to myself so yeah i got 95